Right, so this is CNET 152. This is instant response, and it's a related field to computer forensics. But you know, it's uh, this is the we're going to cover tools and techniques that are used when you get attacked at a company, and you have to figure out. It's always the same questions: um, How did they get in? What did they steal? What do we do to get rid of them? What do we do to repair the damage? That's all anybody wants to know. Um, and uh, by the way, these days, some people actually worry about attribution, which is who they are. Uh, generally, most corporations don't care who they are. It doesn't matter. They're probably in a foreign country anyway. There's no real point in chasing them. It's just a matter of how are we going to stop this from happening again. Uh, law enforcement agencies. I went to the Secret Service meeting, uh, High Tech Crime Investigators Association, and a guy said this, and they said, you know, some of us law enforcement agencies care who it is. I said, well, yeah, maybe you care, but corporations typically don't. Occasionally, you get a CEO that will waste time trying to figure out who hacked them, who hacked you and punishing them, and that's usually a waste of time. Anyway, you don't need to come physically to class, although you can. I'm here in Multi-Use Building 250. You can also just connect remotely online with Twitch, which is the way most students are coming in. And let me just check. Yeah, there they are on Twitch. Good. And, uh, yep, there's 22 people online in Twitch right now. All right. So um, you can get a free copy of the textbook from the City College Library. So that's a, that'll save you some money. And there's the textbook. This is a textbook from Kevin Mandia and other people, who is the guy that made the Mandia company, which is the number one instant response company. It's now bought by Google. So this is the official textbook for the official company that basically invented the modern field of instant response. So it's, it's the right stuff to be learning. There's quizzes. There's a Canvas shell to use, but it is not the City College standard Canvas shell. The way they run the servers here has made trouble for me, so I use a different server. So the thing you need to know is to go to samsclass.info. This is the important information for all of my classes. Because I have my own website, and I've been doing this since before Canvas was created, so I have my old-fashioned ways of doing things, and I don't use Canvas much. So if you go to samsclass.info, and then you click on this class, which is 152, then you'll find a quizzes section, and here you can enroll on my server and view it here. And so there's a uh, Canvas server there, which is different than the City College server. That way I have enough control to leave it open long enough to answer questions and such. So there's also a discussion board. There are weekly discussions that are worth some points. And uh, there's an email if other ways fail to reach me. But by far the best way to reach me is these Twitch sessions. And if you want help for any reason, connect to this Twitch session any school day at Monday through Thursday at 7.30 or Saturday at 2.30. My classes are three hours long, and I try to finish the official course material in the first half, and the second half is just for answering questions about anything. So if you have any troubles, uh, come to those streams or come physically to any of these classrooms when I'm there and I can help you. Um, all right. And so as far as uh, that's it, your, your attendance does not affect your score. I don't take attendance. All that affects your score is quizzes, the discussion board, and hands-on projects, of which there are quite a few. You'll do a lot of practice using hands-on tools, uh, and I'll demonstrate that after the lecture here. So, uh, and if anybody wants to add, just go in and make an ad request, and I'll approve it. Um, I, there's no limit to how many people I can let in. I don't have any problem with it getting too full. And um, just make the online request, and later on, I'll approve them all. And you have about two weeks to add anyway. Uh, I think until February 2, you can still keep adding. All right. Uh, so that's, oh, and as far as grading goes, um, should have a little, there we are, I have a grading policy chart, which is not very exciting, but anyway, the point is, um, there's a bunch of points, I guess 650 points, 90% is an A, 80% is a B, 60% is a C, there's many opportunities to earn extra credit. So um, if there's something you don't want to do, like I sometimes have students, look like the discussions aren't on here, I might, I'm going to have to recalculate this, but anyway, um, the, if you know something you don't want to do, you can just do more hands-on projects to make up for it, which is what a lot of students do. So I'm going to have to revise this, I see, because the discussions are missing, but anyway, I'll let you know, but this 90%, 80% stuff will continue, but all that matters is your point total. You don't have to take the final exam, many students don't. If you do enough hands-on projects, you have enough points for an A before the final comes around, and then you don't need to take it. But anyway, um, all right. So it's the same as all my other classes in these regards. Let's see if there are more questions. Can you download the book? As far as I know, you can't download it, but you can view it online in a browser. Now, if you go to pirate websites, you can probably get a PDF you could download or something. But uh, the O'Reilly thing, I think you can only read it online because they want to limit how long you have access to it or something. Yeah, good. All right, I'm going to stop this recording, which is the course intro with just general information.